everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Friday night. is everybody this friday yes welcome welcome it is friday how's everybody going so i'd really like for you guys to get on the free list here's a little bit about how to do that thank you for tuning in i'm live every monday from 6 to 8 p.m eastern standard time and from 8 p.m eastern standard time until we're done on wednesday and friday nights i offer free readings on every live to join the free list, simply like this video, subscribe or follow, share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading, and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, $35, for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones, or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. So, yes, thank you very much. If you want to get on the free list, like, subscribe, and share. And that's what will get you there, commenting this shared. Uh, you're, I don't know, maybe you were hearing an echo. It's probably my fault. Let me turn my volume down a little bit here. Whoops. Yeah, because I didn't ha I had my volume up a little bit while I was playing that. So, yeah, you might have echoed a little bit. So, let me get this turned down so it won't do that again. But thank you for pointing that out. All right. So, let me see. Who all do we have on the free list so far? Welcome, Becky. Hello, Chris. Hey, Renee. Uh, Chris Cole is shared. So, thank you, my dear. Putting you on the free list. Uh, Yolanda, you shared. Thank you. Putting you on the free list. It's not echoing anymore. Good. Let me know if it echoes from this. Are you ready to get a tarot reading, but find yourself bewildered by all the choices available on the screen? Let's make your decision easier. If love is on your mind, our love and relationship reading, priced at $20, can shine a light on your path, whether you're single interested in someone, or already in a relationship, curious about a deeper insight into your life? The Full Spirit Insight Reading provides an in-depth look into a chosen topic or offers a comprehensive general reading for just $20. Explore the realms of your soul with the Akashic Records Reading or uncover your life's true purpose with the Life Purpose Reading, each available for $20. Navigate through your financial journey with clarity from our finances reading or connect with your animal guides 
through the animal spirit reading, also $20 each. Dive deep into your psyche with the subconscious insight, reading for $20, discovering the messages your subconscious self is sending and their significance. Reveal your hidden spiritual gifts with that reading or listen closely to the messages from your spirit guides with the Spirit Guide Messages Reading, each priced at $20. Experience transformation and healing with a live Reiki Chakra Cleansing Session for $20, where the collective energy benefits all viewers. Mediumship, available for only $35, allows for a connection with loved ones who have crossed over more than 30 days ago, bringing messages of love and closure. For direct messages from the Divine, opt for the Channeled Divine Message Service for $30, offering profound insights and guidance. Remember, a free reading requires no monetary exchange. It's witch's choice, and recipients are not allowed to ask questions. Instead, you'll receive the reading topic I've selected for the evening. To qualify, like this video, follow this channel, share this live stream, and comment shared. Curious about tonight's spell? Discover what magic we're weaving and have it cast for you, live for only $13. Questions on which reading to choose or about tonight's spell? Feel free to ask. And if you're part of the Mystical Mentorship Circle, remember, your weekly three-card reading is waiting. Just reach out. Embark on this magical journey with me uncovering the mysteries and insights that await. Yeah, if you really, 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 really need a message tonight, then like, subscribe, and share. Let me know that you've shared, and I'll put you on the free list, and that'll get you a message. Ah, and yes, you did share. So good. I'm putting you on the free list. Very good. You are guaranteed to get a message if you get on the free list. Just saying. You can't see because of what thing, Becca? People I've got on the free list so far are Chris, Yolanda, Cassandra, and Becky. If you shared and you... Oh, now Eileen. If you've shared and didn't hear your name just now, let me know that you've shared. So how has everybody's week gone? And yes, happy Good Friday to all of you who celebrate. Um, I'll tell you what, my birthday's on Monday, and um, the spell bar, uh, oh, what's the spell bar? Is that what you're trying to ask, Becca? What is the spell? Oh, I'll be happy to talk about what is the spell. The spell is all about chucking it in the bucket bucket, okay? So... Um, basically we will chuck whatever it is you want to chuck in the bucket bucket to get away from you. How was the wedding? The wedding was great, actually. Hold on. Let me, let me pull out. I'm going to pull out a picture real quick. Uh, let me go to my raws. Ons view raw. Caitlin and Stephen wedding. And here's one of the photos I took from it. There we go. Hold on. There you go. That's one of the pictures I took from the wedding. What do you think? Are they a good looking couple or what? So that was the wedding that was in Wisconsin that I went to go officiate and photograph. Yes, I managed to do both. Don't ask me how. It was complicated. Let's see. There we are. Oh, wait, I can bring up the picture again. But yes, there's the picture, one of the pictures. I've got some other amazing pictures that I took. Many of you guys know that I am a, or have been a professional photographer. Don't do it all the time anymore. I still am a professional photographer, I suppose. But yes, oh yeah, that gown was amazing. And look at the train on that thing. It's absolutely astoundingly beautiful. Astoundingly beautiful, right? So, yes, I, I still do the photography thing. I am a professional photographer, although that's not what I do for the majority of my time. But, yes, this was from a first look. This is he had just turned around. How many of you guys have heard about first look? 
first look is when before the wedding you don't turn around and get the look right when they see each other down the aisle you actually get them both in the same area one turns around looks at the other and, and he turned around to look at her and then he as you can see is is thrilled and flabbergasted and she is just beside herself there so yes isn't that beautiful and yes the colors of their wedding were a champagne which you see in the lining of her dress and maroon so yeah it is really cool it is a great wedding look for more pictures to come i'll i'll be happy to show them off because you know that's my work i like it all right so um how many of you guys have heard about the mentorship circle by the way like subscribe and share if you want to get on the free list tonight here's a little information about the mentorship circle are you ready to deepen your spiritual journey if so let's take it to the next level together i'm lady shia psychic medium doctor of divinity and your witch coach with over 36 years of experience in witchcraft i invite you to the mystical mentorship circle this is the haven you've been searching for especially if you're an empath or thirsting for a like-minded community we learn everything from shadow work reiki runes tarot astrology and even life skills that matter the best part you get all of this for only 25 a month you're not just learning, you're growing alongside a supportive community that understands you. Plus, you get special perks like free monthly readings, discounts on live events, master classes, and personalized mentoring from yours truly, The Witch Coach. Let your journey begin now. Visit LadyShia.com. All right, I have down that Becca shared. Hello, Terry. How are you? Renee, you shared. Now I know it doesn't look like I'm looking at the chat window. There's that chat window there that I can look at with you guys, but there's a bigger chat window that I have over to my right that I can look at. You bald. So Elizabeth says I was it was inside the mansion where Mara and Brandon got married and they were on the porch outside the mansion. She watched the first looking bald. Yeah. You can tell in this picture there's some snow on the ground out there. Yes, and I, I incorporated that into the uh, um, uh, wedding as well because, you know, I, I, I did the whole ceremony when I was doing the ceremony and I did the whole spring here and spring love and new growth. And, and I'm like, oh, my God, it does not look like spring outside. It just decided to snow like a motherfucker that day. Okay, you can see it out the window. That is white, not because it's a bright light. It is white because there's some fucking snow on the ground. You know? So I changed it. Look, oh, hold on. I, I, put, I put my ceremony on here. So, because I was using it, I was going to print it out. Didn't have time to print it out. So here's how I started off the ceremony. Let me find it. Where did I put it? Here it is. Um, on this day... Here we go. I'm going to let you see it. On this day, as we gather, surrounded by the serene blanket of snow, we stand as witnesses to the warmth and love that brings us together, the union of Jadalyn and Stephen. The snow underfoot, though a remnant of winter's embrace, cannot quell the promise of spring that stirs beneath. It is a beautiful reminder that even in the coldest of times, life love life and love find a way to blossom today as Jadalyn and Stephen pledge their lives to one another they also celebrate the imminent arrival of new life a symbol of hope and renewal as vivid as the first buds of spring that lie in wait beneath the snow this moment is beautiful paradox much like the seasons themselves a reminder that warmth growth and new beginnings can emerge from the chill winter oh yeah it was cold it was cold as a motherfucker out there and i'll tell you what by the end of the day we had about this much snow up on the cars that had to get uh brushed off and everything you know because there was a lot of snow on them cars elizabeth putting you on the free list all right so uh Anybody who's on the free list, this is Friday. So anybody who's on the in the mentorship circle, how, how many of you guys, are there any of you guys who have not had your mentorship reading this week? 
birthday so now because this is the last chance for the week for you guys to get your mentorship reading and I'll put you down on there. Now we are doing, uh, we asked about the spell earlier. What's the spell? The spell is the chuck it in the bucket bucket spell. Okay, so what is that? That is the bucket that I got in South Padre because you know what? If you're going to throw something in a bucket, you might as well throw it in a bucket that you got on a tropical island. All right, now is South Padre necessarily a tropical island? No, but it is a nice island on the Gulf Coast, okay? So we are literally throwing what we want to get rid of, all the negative crap, on a piece of Bernie paper, and we are chucking that Bernie paper in the bucket bucket to burn it. So see, here's the Bernie papers. Special, I guess they're called, um, they're called Justin papers or whatever. And we're gonna write on them and we're gonna take it and we're gonna chuck it in the fuck it bucket. All right. So tonight's free reading is going to be about what is it that's in your life that you need to chuck in the fuck it bucket. Now that doesn't mean that you necessarily need to chuck it in my fuck it bucket, but you should probably file 13, whatever the universe is saying, uh, you really need to remove the shit from your life. Okay, so yeah. Uh, Becky, you're not in the mentorship circle, my dear. I don't think. Or are you, there's somebody else who joined. I can check and see if you're in it. Yeah, so you got the spell the other night, uh, Jonathan Cosmic Muffin. How's it been impacting you so far getting, checking, checking that shit in the bucket bucket? How have you been from that? All right, now let's see what we've got going on tonight. I saw somebody else come in. Eileen, you're first up on the priority list, my dear. You did that and a full moon thingy with some lovely witches up here last summer. That sounds nice. What, checking things in the bucket bucket? So, Eileen, what did you want for your donation tonight, my dear? Are we doing a uh, channel to buy message or what? Hello, Michael. Jonathan, overall better, much better. Some of it's still unraveling, but the shit my ex left of me is gone and not affecting me thus far. Good to know. So it's helping you kind of cut those those cords in a better way. So that's good. All right, let's see where Eileen is. I'm doing great, Michael. How are you doing? You want an Akashic Records reading? You got it. Uh, now, just so you guys know, the Akashic Records is kind of like the uh, uh, life, the universe, and everything kind of thing. So, are you sure that's what you want? Like, you want to see what the what the the Akashic Records has to tell you about your life, about you, uh, about your gifts, about you know your purpose? That sometimes it it. Can come up just about anything but it, it's basically whatever the akashic records keepers and stuff need for you to focus on okay or i can do a channel message from a divinity of your choice eileen and michael let me put you on the free list and then i'm gonna check some shit in the fuck it bucket All right, Chris, I'm going to put you on the mentorship list for today. Now, uh, let's see. If you guys aren't in the mentorship circle, you should think about it. It's great. All right, Akashic Record Reading General. You got it. All right, my dear. Getting out those cards. And putting us on the big desk camera. Here we go. So we can see a little bit better. 
Oh, and before we start... Oh, this is my new one of my new things that I'm going to be able to do spells on, and this is this is actually uh, going to be for healing because this is I don't know if you guys recognize it, but it is bloodstone, okay? And this bloodstone is really good for removing anything, okay? So negativity. Uh, it's also good for health and healing stuff like that. So uh, it's really cool. Look at this. See see this? Isn't that neat? I just got that this weekend. Bloodstone. Isn't that beautiful? So it's going to be great for... She's a great goddess representation. But it's going to be really great also for uh, doing some spell work. Alright, so here we are. Okay, Jonathan. Did you... Uh... Oh, okay, I see. You did donate. Alright, we can do that. Absolutely, when you're back. Here we go, Eileen. Oh, and there's a new addition to the money thing, too. I got that this weekend. It's a, a, a tiger's eye. It's a really unique and cool-looking tiger's eye, okay? And I just loved how it appeared and has, has this little eye on the top. Let me see if I can show you guys. There you go. You see that? Kind of the way it's cut. I love it. It's really nifty. So anyway, tiger's eye is also been added to our prosperity bowl so here we are eileen you get the first prosperity bowl spell with the tiger's eye in it money money unto thee abundant wealth three times three with harm to none as it finds its way may your wealth increase every day it's free will to all and harm to none as we will it is now done so mote it be I always make a mess with it, which is why I don't like glitter, because glitter gets everywhere. Mica gets a lot of places, but it's a lot easier to clean up. It does, Eileen. I know. I really liked it. All right. Let me shuffle this one more time here. Let's see what the Akashic Records has to reveal to you. All right, I'm being told to do a different spread. Do so I'm going to do it this way, since you asked for a general. All right. So, looking at this, first of all. Um, on a soul level, the lessons that you're supposed to be learning, okay, on the soul level, what you're here for. Hello, Miss Chanel. Drive by and share it. Thank you, Chanel. I will put you on the free list. If you're here, you're here. If you're not, you're not. Sounds good. Hey, Lord Vader's wife. How are you? Good to see you. All right. So, um... Basically, this is your, your soul levels, your soul, cosmic soul lessons that you're trying to learn. First of all, okay. Hey, Marta Felix, good to see you. Um, are you Marta from, uh, from Fort Worth, Marta? Just wondering. Uh, and like, subscribe, and share for to get on the free list. Okay. Well, thank you, Chanel. I appreciate it. Hello, Jessica Edwards. How are you? Okay, so what I'm seeing here, first of all, is that you need to learn to walk into your power. And your power, Eileen, is very much connected with the earth. Okay, Faye, and don't forget tonight's the last night. If you haven't gotten your mentorship, uh, mentorship reading this week, tonight's the last night for it, by the way, guys. Faye, have you gotten yours for the week? I remember you guys can get, uh, okay. Marta putting you on the free list. Like and subscribe done. Did you share actually? Cause shared is, is one of the more important parts to it too. So let me know when you've shared as well, Marta. 
I know a Marta from Fort Worth, so I was wondering if you were that Marta. All right, so Eileen, the first thing you've got to learn to do is work on that earth connection to claim your power. You have an ancient earth, like, uh, energy to you, this matron, like, um, growing style energy. Okay, so you are meant to walk into the fullness of that priestesshood kind of thing in that connection with the earth and growing and everything like that. All right, that's what you're meant to walk into uh, on a on a karmic level. All right. The other thing that I'm seeing here is that you're meant to be like this this beacon uh, example. All right. You are actually supposed to learn how to walk in your faith on a daily basis, not to the point of like, you know, like the way some of these Christians prophetize and like, oh, you need to be like my faith and blah, blah, blah. No, you need to be walking in your light so that people come up to you and say, you've got a light to you. What what is that? And in that you will be able to share those lessons, those learnings, those blessings, that sort of thing. Um you are also very much meant to transform in this lifetime. This is a transitional lifetime for you, Eileen, where you're supposed to learn the things that you need to truly walk into your soul's purpose. Okay, so this is overall your soul's purpose across time and space. Okay, now what are you supposed to be learning in this lifetime to support that soul's purpose? Okay. The first thing that I'm seeing is that you're supposed to learn how to manifest, okay? In this lifetime, this is a transitional lifetime for you, Eileen, and you are supposed to learn how to truly manifest, how to pick what you want and make it happen, not letting anything stand in your way, all right? Um, you're also supposed to learn how to reconcile the pieces and parts of yourself, okay? Uh, to so that you're not constantly at war with yourself. That's another thing for this lifetime. And then the third thing is to not... It's, it's a double thing on this, first of all. You need to learn how to manipulate your environment to make your shit happen in a healthy way. Manipulation is not always a negative. You can manipulate in a healthy way which is to basically find a way to get what you want without bringing harm to other people. Then it harm none, do as you will. Don't step on their free will and stuff. But being able to say, okay, here's this, and let me manifest and make things happen so that I can make things go the direction I need them to go. Okay? And then what gifts have you been given in this lifetime in order to achieve your soul's purpose uh, so again, soul's purpose, the lifetime, you know, what, what are you supposed to learn in this lifetime to, to help meet your soul's purpose? And then what are the gifts that you've been given to be able to do this? First of all, you have a healthy view and understanding of yourself. Okay. Now you may look at this and say, that's not a gift. Oh yeah, it's a gift. How many people guys out of all of y'all, how many people do you know that are self-aware? I know very, very few people that are self-aware, okay? And, 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 and that's including the people that I interact with here. Some of you guys are very self-aware. Some of you are not. We're going to be honest, okay? Elizabeth says very few, okay? So having that innate self-awareness of really knowing and being truly self-aware, that is a, that's a major gift. Okay, that's a big deal. That's a BFD, big fucking deal. All right. So being self-aware, again, very, very, very big deal. You do have that connection with nature, with earth. So have you ever tried to grow things, Eileen? Because I think if you really connected with your gift, I see you with a green thumb big time. Have you ever tried to grow or work on growing things? Because I think if you do, you'd be very surprised and pleased with the result if you actually gave yourself some time to it. Okay, 
definitely do that. If you haven't, you said yes, but you know, you, you've done that, but you've got this green thumb and the connection with the earth. Now, it's not just about you growing things. When you, hello, Robin. Uh, Eileen, when you turn around and start really working on uh, uh, connecting with the earth while you're growing things, okay, you're going to start seeing an increase in your power. And of course, the last thing, uh, which is not going to be a big giant surprise to you at all, Eileen. Oh my God, you're an empath. You're an empathic receiver. But not only can you receive, but you can influence the emotions of others around you. You can't push emotions but you can influence, and that's one part of what you need to do, which is being that 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 what you have in this lifetime, that ability to use your perceptions to make things happen, and that influencing ability on an emotional level to be able to make things happen for you. Does that make some sense, Eileen? So, hopefully, that helps and blesses you. Becca, your intuition spot on. That's good to hear. It's always good to uh, check up on, on your intuition and see if it's doing the right things or not. So, yeah, if you guys would like to get on the free list, you can like, subscribe, and share. Uh, let me know that you've shared. If you are uh, wanting to get on the priority list, well, here's some information about the different choices on the priority list. Are you ready to get a tarot reading, but find yourself bewildered by all the choices available on the screen? Let's make your decision easier. If love is on your mind, our love and relationship reading, priced at $20, can shine a light on your path. Whether you're single, interested in someone, or already in a relationship, curious about a deeper insight into your life, the Full Spirit Insight Reading provides an in-depth look into a chosen topic or offers a comprehensive general reading for just $20. Explore the realms of your soul with the Akashic Records Reading or uncover your life's true purpose with the Life Purpose Reading, each available for $20. Navigate through your financial journey with clarity from our Finances Reading or connect with your animal guides through the Animal Spirit Reading, also $20 each. Dive deep into your psyche with the Subconscious Insight, reading for $20, discovering the messages your subconscious self is sending and their significance. Reveal your hidden spiritual gifts with that reading or listen closely to the messages from your spirit guides with the Spirit Guide Messages Reading, each priced at $20. Experience transformation and healing with a live Reiki chakra cleansing session for $20, where the collective energy benefits all viewers. Mediumship, available for only $35, allows for a connection with loved ones who have crossed over more than 30 days ago, bringing messages of love and closure. For direct messages from the divine, opt for the channeled divine message service for $30, offering profound insights and guidance. Remember, a free reading requires no monetary exchange. It's witch's choice, and recipients are not allowed to ask questions. Instead, you'll receive the reading topic I've selected for the evening. To qualify, like this video, follow this channel, share this live stream, and comment shared. Curious about tonight's spell? Discover what magic we're weaving and have it cast for you, live for only $13. Questions on which reading to choose or about tonight's spell? Feel free to ask. And if you're part of the Mystical Mentorship Circle, remember, your weekly three-card reading is waiting. Just reach out. Embark on this magical journey with me, uncovering the mysteries and insights that await. Thank you for sharing, Deborah. I've got you on the list in case you do hip happen to stick around. Um, all right. Is Jonathan Phoenix with us? What is nice free reading is what do you need to chuck in the fuck it bucket? 
Okay, what is it you need to get rid of on your life? We are in the waning moon right now. It means the moon is has has gotten to full and is slowly going away. Okay, so we are in third quarter waning moon phase right now. Okay, uh, so we are getting rid of stuff to check in the fuck it bucket. All right, Jamie. So I don't see Jonathan Phoenix here right now. We'll wait for him. Uh, Renee, I don't see what that is. I, all it shows is a couple of uh, weird squares. Can you see it on the screen right there? It's showing a bunch of little weird squares, so I can't tell what it is that... Oh, now I see a bunch of legs that showed up. Hmm. So, um, well, you would be up right now, Miss Edwards, because Jonathan is not there. Tippers or skippers? So... When people give me money, they get to move up. They get to skip the entire free list line and go on the priority list line. That's how that works. No, we're not going to kick buckets. We're just chucking it in the bucket bucket. Nobody's kicking the bucket tonight. Well, that we know on here right now. Okay. So, yes, Miss Edwards, uh, I have a donation here from you. So please let me know how I may assist you this evening. All right, so who's the kid? Oh, Destiny. Is Destiny on here right now? Destiny, where you at, girl? Mm. You're letting her have your phone. We're going to do another past life for her. We haven't done a past life in a minute, but I'll tell you what. She definitely has had some interesting past lives, which makes me wonder, what are you doing with this life, girl? What are you doing with this life? All right, so where is Miss Destiny? Delilah. Well, I don't know why I had Destiny stuck in my head for you. Probably because I, in my head, you've always got the greatest destinies. So Delilah, not Destiny. Sorry. I, I just have you, I have you in my head as Destiny. I give people nicknames. And yours is Destiny now. So Delilah, you have got great destinies most of the time. Sorry, but it's been a while since we've done a, uh, uh, a a past life on you. But every time we did, it's been interesting. So you're, you want a past life? Let's see what we got. Hello, Kristen Matthew. I'm still probably going to call you Destiny anyway, because that's the way I am. I'm terrible like that. I see people's energies. All righty. I will look for it. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we have here. Yes, it is. Indeed. I take very good care of my hair and my hair color. I also only wash my hair like twice a week. Hey, Derek. I also only wash my hair like twice a week on the max. I have a wonderful uh, shower cap that I use and I'll put like leave-in conditioner on in, uh, in it on a regular, you know? So what you been up to, Mr. Derek? I hear things are looking pretty decent for you these days. I'm laying out cards here. We're going to move over to our full desk cam so we can do, uh, de uh, oh, Destiny's your sister. Okay. So I did have the name, right? It's just the other D. Okay. Delilah. Okay. Delilah's yours. Okay. I, I didn't think it was that crazy. So, okay. The other D. All right. Delilah. Hmm, let's take a look at this. All right, so what I'm seeing here, whenever I start off a past life reading like this, it's it means that your life began in the midst of death. Okay, so this lifetime began in the midst of death, and oh, wow. What I'm seeing is normally what it is uh, in the midst of death when somebody's life begins in death, it's normally the mom that dies, okay? Hmm. 
That's awesome, Derek. Um, but what I'm seeing here is literally a war. Okay, and this is like in Byzantine. I, I Byzantine is coming up, which is like in the Turkish area. Okay, because Byzantium is like I'm seeing that Byzantine was a very popular trade site. Okay, I don't know as much about this area of history as I probably should, but uh, it was very big on trade, right? And um. It looks like you were part of the attacking force because I'm seeing walls. Uh, I'm seeing walls like big kind of sandstone walls is kind of arid and dry in some areas. Er some areas are very lush, uh, but it's it's like cultivated lushness, if that makes sense. Um, so basically i see a bunch of people attacking the walls and i see that there's a lot of death involved and i see a woman in a tent so i'm i'm thinking she's a camp follower i do not get the feeling like she's a camp whore or anything like that i get the feeling that she was a camp follower um that was like like a washer i i keep getting washerwoman like doing laundry doing the the washerwoman kind of job and you were born uh in the middle of a battle okay and oh interesting this is a lifetime where you were male you were born as in a battle you were a you were born a male and interestingly enough this is the strangest fucking thing. This is a weird ass past life reading. I'm not going to lie. Um, as you die, as you were born, you, you, your, your father was on the battlefield. Okay. He died and you were born. And at the moment, this is so weird. Okay. Cause at the moment you were born, your father's soul actually joined with yours. You had your own unique soul, but because he was like drifting and you were just being born, didn't have any protections up or anything like that already. And he loved you and you had a bond and he loved your mom and you had a bond. He literally joined his soul to yours at the moment you were born. Okay which may basically started putting you towards the warrior path very very early on okay now i don't know what happened with this battle in front of byzantium byzantine is it is it istanbul or Con i don't know Byzant byzantine is what it keeps coming up as byzantine the word byzantine just keeps showing up and showing up and showing up okay um but Basically, I see that you survived and it's skipping forward in time to me, okay? It's skipping forward in time because now I'm seeing a young man, I would say 15 to, 15 to 17 years old, which would be you, okay, is the vision that I'm getting. And I am seeing that even at that age, you, I'm, it's, it's a weird kind of sword. It's not like completely curved like a scimitar. Um... It's got a very kind of almost like a gladius style thickness on the hilt. And the sword goes up, but it has a slight curve to it. So it kind of goes up and then whoop, and a, a little kind of hook up at the top. And it has a kind of an interesting indent with that. And that's what I'm seeing you fight with. Okay. I'm seeing that you have one of these and you have a weird kind of smaller, not quite a buckler, but some kind of a smaller style shield that almost seems like it wouldn't do much good but it, it's enough for you to be able to throw up your hand and block things while you're fighting and i'm literally seeing you move around hello stephanie and jessica i'm literally seeing you move around like you're like a dance okay and it's almost like this this fast speed 
sword whirly dirty dervish kind of thing that you're doing. You got a lot of notoriety as a very young, accomplished swordsman because you had your father's spirit with you. You you kind of had his knowledge with you and stuff like that. You were very sought after, but you did not have a military career. I am seeing that you use this instead to go and fight for money, aka a mercenary, okay? So you were a young mercenary, fell in love, and ended up running a very strong mercenary troop, okay? You had a mercenary group that was had a really damn good record. You were loyal to whoever you were selling your services to. You never flipped sides. You would see the battle through to the end. You were an, ex uh, an ex excellent tactician. And I do mean excellent. Okay. Very strong tactical sense. Very, uh, very sought after. You're very good at what you did. For, that's for damn sure. Okay. So, um, beyond falling in love and having a successful mercenary troop, I am not seeing how you died. So that apparently is not really relevant. Um, I'm not seeing there's a bloody death or anything like that. I think that you actually lived to old age and, and were able to pass the mercenary troop business on, you know, and so on and so forth. But I do see that you were very stable as a mercenary and making money as a mercenary. So... Go, go sell your sword to the highest bidder, yeah, but you're going to do it with some integrity, man. And, and that's one of the biggest things for you. You did it with some integrity, all right? And Jessica Granados, you still have a donation that you didn't stick around to use the other day. So I am moving you up to the priority list. There we go. All right, so... um. Hopefully that helps and blesses you. Um, I don't know. Can you remember any of this? Sometimes when we're doing past lives and I'm in the energy, especially when the visions are coming through as strongly as they are right now, um, many times I'm able to share that or, you know, you're able to kind of feel it while I'm doing it. So can you kind of feel that resonating with you and, and feel how that translates for you? And Shira, how you doing? Stephanie and Shira, let me know if you like, subscribed, and shared. I'll stick you on the free list. <laughs> hey, I keep track of this shit, okay? That's the way this works. I keep track of this shit, Jess. We were uh, showing off. By the way, everybody sees, says hi to and sees Jessica Granados there, okay? Jessica Granados was sitting back behind me to the left when this picture was being taken. Okay. So Jess, uh, Elizabeth was talking about her for her daughter's first look and that she cried during the first look. No, 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 no. Not the city of Jericho. It's Byzantine. Byzantine. Somewhere in the Byzantine Empire, which is well after the, the biblical story of the city of Jericho. The Byzantine, Byzantanian Empire kind of thing. Byzantine. So yes, that is, that is, that is the beautiful Jadalyn and the very handsome Stephen on their wedding day. Mm -hmm. So. But no, it would not be, it would not be uh, Jericho. It was Byzantine. So you'll have to look up Byzantine. And if you do, I mean, uh, let me say, let me see. Um, hold on, let me try this. Uh, show me images of Byzantine. So this is some of the uh, artwork from the Byzantinian Empire, okay? And they very much were a Christian-style empire kind of thing. Let me see. I've got... Uh, 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 let's see if there's... Here's a map of where it was. 
So it's basically all around the Mediterranean area there. So yeah. <laughs> yes, I was multitasking like nobody's business. Stephanie Thompson putting you on the priority list. Thank you very much, love. All right. And Stephanie Thompson's the one that's responsible for this awesome hairdo, hair color. So if you guys are in the DFW area, go to the JC Penney's in Alliance area to get your hair did. Because you will not be disappointed. Not all, not one bit. All right. So, Miss Edwards, come on and let's do your your uh, uh, reading. What do you want for your reading? Meanwhile, let's do your money spell. Remember, I told you I added this lovely little uh, uh, tiger's eye that I got. So, yeah, here we go. Money, money, unto thee. Abundant wealth, three times three. With harm to none as it finds its way, may your wealth increase every day. With free will to all and harm to none. As we will, it is now done. So mote it be. I'm taking good care of it, Stephanie. Mm. Hey person, you're looking to get trans bottom surgery. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? Would really like guidance. Well, to be able to ask a question, you need to uh, donate using the pinned comment down below. However, you can get a free reading just by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Um, I will give you my personal advice on that though, person. Are you going for a male to female or a female to male? Um, I have known trans people from both sides of that. I'm familiar with the surgery um from both aspects of it uh so we got several stones uh which which one are you talking about i got several stones i can't remember which one i got you and my stupid thing is frozen up so i'm gonna fix it hold on always freezes on a stupid face there we go all right ah and chris right Okay, that would be, where is she? Shira, okay. Shira, I got you down as donating. So you're going on the uh, priority list. Yes, you were crying, Jade cried. It was great. Uh, the multicolored one, I can't remember. You're gonna have to show me the one that, the one I got you. Now, these are, this is going to be part of my next spell after the full moon, okay? We're going to have a spell with these three stones. These two are new, okay? This is a bloodstone sphere. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how beautiful this bloodstone sphere is. And it has interesting quartz throughout, okay? It's so gorgeous. Then this one I've had, and this is a rose quartz sphere, okay? And then this one is a new one with quartz and pyrite. So this is going to be about getting rid of all the things that are no longer serving and blocking you, finding uh, harmony and peace within yourself, and then finding that spiritual abundance because we've got the pyrite with the uh, clear quartz there. So yeah. Terry, no, I still got you on the list. We got several people that jumped on the skippers list. So uh, we haven't gotten a whole lot of freebies done yet. Um, so. Miss Edwards, you want full spirit insight. Okay. What would you like your full spirit insight on, darling? Have you gotten your truck cleaned yet, Jess? I think it, it I remember it was some kind of a Jasper. Yes. Skippers list, donation list, yes. People who donate, skip the line. Tippers or skippers. Or tipper mcskippers as, uh... Who, who coined that? I can't remember who coined that.
You want full spirit insight on building your business and furthering your education and skills in that regard. Okay. Hey, after April 11th. Oh, that that's right, Rochelle. It was you who did that. Tipper McSkippers. I like it. Yeah, now I did get this. Okay. And this is a little lizard jasper. It, well, it's a lizard jasper stone. He's got uh, some sandstone and jasper agate in the middle of it there. Okay. And this is this is a gift for Diane. Then we have this cute little Hello Kitty bloodstone. Okay. Is that a can you know here? See it? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wrong way. Here we go. Hello Kitty. There's a Hello Kitty with the third eye. You see that little bit of quartz on the third eye? I thought that was so cool. That one is going for Otivia. Oh, that's the one you got too. Okay. So that is a Jasper and that's an agate. Okay. So that's what that is. Because it's Jasper and Agate kind of together. And it's it's uh you can feel it's glued in here, which is fine, but it's still super cool, you know? So, it's this is the little lizard. Because Diane, if anybody knows Diane, would know she loves lizards. All right. So, let's do this full spirit insight for Miss Edwards. Uh, building her business and furthering her education skills in that regard. Are you wanting to, on your business, are you wanting to build it as far as your CPA and accounting? Slash tax. Because I know you do taxes. We're going to switch over here to the full desk, desk cam again. All right. But you're wanting to do more accounting in general and stuff like that, right? I have some questions for you, by the way, Miss Edwards. You know much about non for profit? I have a couple of tax questions on non for profit. All righty. So. Looking at this, Miss Edwards, first of all, uh, you are in a tumultuous environment right now. You're in an environment where everybody's kind of telling you what to do. Uh, so the first thing you've got to do is get out of your environment. Okay. Then you've got to turn around and establish yourself there. Oh, no, I'm talking about for future stuff, Jessica. Uh, this is, this is for a non-for-profit that's not even set up. I just have a couple of questions. And maybe, uh, when we do set one up, maybe you can help. But, um, basically what I'm seeing here is that you need to get out of your environment and reestablish yourself in a new space okay and what and and where you're the boss so you're gonna have to set up a, a you know get known and notarized and stuff like that where you're the boss in a new environment once you're in that new environment then options and things for education and things are going to open up for you right now though i'm not seeing that other than changing your environment and becoming being your own boss is is the biggest thing for you you shouldn't be going into additional like uh trying to go get your cpa or anything okay not yet okay not to say that you won't because once things take off then you're going to be able to hire people and back off and do some of the things on your own because i am seeing that you will you will actually have a multi-person business okay um so that'll be a good thing but you're going to need to get out of your current environment for things to really start happening for you. Does that make some sense, Miss Edwards? I am seeing a, a good amount of success here for you. But again, and you're, you're in an environment right now where you've got too many distractions, too many people telling you where to go, what to do, how to do it, so on and so forth. 
You're going to have to move out of that environment. Get out there, grab life by the ball, solicit clients, things like that. Uh, start your business and then the options will start opening up for you. Okay. And of course, down here, not to con not to go with furthering education, get things started, and then a lot of stuff will be open. You'll have all the tools and the time that you need to get shit done in. All right. So hopefully that helps and blesses you. Did you also like, subscribe, and share, Jess? I, th I think that you did. Your chuck it in the fuck it bucket is hoping that things are randomly going to turn out okay. All right? Mm-mm. That attitude needs to be chucked in the fuck it bucket. All right? Yes, persevere. Yes, have time and patience. But to just think that somehow without your intervention, if you just kind of let it go long enough, if I ignore this long enough, it'll go away or it'll fix itself. You need to get rid of that attitude. No, it won't fix itself. You need to take an active hand, okay? Get in there and say, you know what? This is my life and I'm going to do it my way. And that's good enough. Just saying. All right. So up next is going to be Jonathan Phoenix. Where are you? And if any of you guys are like wanting to get on the free list, here's how to do it. Thank you for tuning in. I'm live every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And from 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until we're done on Wednesday and Friday nights. I offer free readings on every live. To join the free list, simply like this video subscribe or follow, share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading, and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, 35 dollars for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones, or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity, and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. Nah, not, not urgent at all. After the 15th sounds great to me. Group Reiki, as Jonathan says, call up the energy from your vision and clarity. Uh, celestial Enochian rituals I offer to all the world for the collective. Have some meditative parts if you'd like for me to comment them. Um, yes. Comment what meditative parts, and I'll do a medit I'll do a, a Reiki meditation for the collective on that, a guided meditation. We'll do a guided Reiki meditation for everybody. So, what what is the focus that you want me to have for that? And I'll 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 do one real fast. I'll just take some inspiration and go. So. Um, what is the energy from your vision? We're going to do a group Reiki. So right now I'm looking at guided, uh, uh, guided meditation for clarity what else do you want to add in there clarity in what regards Jonathan clarity whatever all right so clarity All right, that sounds good. All right, let me see what I can uh, come up with.
have both of these things and if all had the yeah it'd be pretty amazing all right so let's put up a track let's change our music uh we're gonna focus in on let me see pick some music reiki vibe just a general this is our reiki vibe track Begin by finding a comfortable position, either seated or lying down, in a place where you feel safe and undisturbed. Close your eyes gently and take a deep breath in. Feel the air filling your lungs, and as you exhale, let go of any tension you're holding in your body. With each breath, Allow yourself to sink deeper into relaxation, feeling more grounded and at peace. Now, visualize a serene environment around you. It might be a lush forest or a tranquil beach or a sacred space or safe space that you hold dear. Notice the details of this place. Colors, sounds, the scents. Feel the energy of this space filling you with calm and serenity. As you explore this peaceful place in your mind's eye, Imagine coming across a clear, fill pond. The water is a mirror, reflecting what's above it and everything that surrounds it. Approach this pond, and as you do, think about the areas in your life that you seek. Stand at the edge of this pond and gaze into the water. See your reflection and notice how calm and peaceful you look. Now, imagine that this pond has the power to grant you clarity. As you stare deeper into the water, the water begins to ripple gently. Each ripple, you feel a sense of clarity washing over you. With every breath you take, imagine drawing in the power of clarity from the pond. Feel crystal clarity entering your mind, dissolving any fear, confusion, or uncertainty. See yourself beginning to see beyond your current beliefs and limitations, embracing a broader vision of your life. Think about a specific decision or area where you seek clarity. And as you focus on this, Imagine the water of the pond becoming even clearer, reflecting back to you the insight and understanding you need. Take a moment to receive this wisdom, allowing it to guide your thoughts. Feeling empowered by this newfound clarity, take a few more deep breaths. With each inhale, draw in strength and confidence. And with each exhale, release any lingering uncertainty. Feel yourself grounded in the knowledge that clarity brings immense power 
guiding you towards purposeful actions and decisions. When you feel ready, gently bring your awareness back to the present moment. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your shoulders. Roll your neck. Stretch your body. When you're ready, in your eyes. Carrying the sense of clarity with you. Letting it illuminate your path forward. Remember, clarity is not a one-time discovery, but a journey. Revisit your clarity pond in this meditation whenever you feel the need to clear your mind and find direction. You have the power within you to see beyond, understand deeply, and to move forward with purpose and conviction. felt lovely. How did that feel to you guys? I enjoyed that. Do you feel clearer? How do you guys feel from that? I think I'm going to leave the Reiki music on. I'm liking it right now. I'm grooving with it. How about y'all? I'll turn it down a little bit. Hmm, that feels good. Jonathan, did that meet your expectations, my friend? Meanwhile... Lord Vader's wife, Derek and Jamie, you guys donated. So what are you guys doing? <laughs> Holy shit, he says. Okay, I guess I exceeded your expectations, buddy. Kind of sleepy. Wake up. Emotional damage. If that don't wake you up, I don't know what will. <laughs> itchy shoulder okay hold on I got scratch an itch okay I want to know why I'm pulling away from Derek and being distant all right Rochelle okay I will put you on the free list my dear yeah, she's the one who coined the Tipper McSkipper. I like it. She's a Tipper McSkipper. Well, not tonight, but she was when she coined it. And it's frequently, and we thank you for it greatly. All right. Well, I wasn't entirely sure what all you were asking, so I just went with, I asked my guides and went with what my guides kind of drew me to. When I start a meditation like that, I kind of go into a little bit of a vision of my own and uh, let it develop as it needs to, you know? All right. So let's see what we have for... We're going to do a relationship reading on what issues Jamie is having and why she's pulling away from Derek. So, Jamie, we're going to see where you're at right now, okay? This is where you're at with yourself at the moment. Okay, and then over here, we're going to look at what... Welcome back, Michael. We're going to look at where Derek's at over here. Okay. We're going to look at what the block is next. Okay. What is blocking you? This is our obstacle. Okay. And how do we fix it? Actually, you guys can't see that unless I uncover it a little bit. All right. So this is where you're coming from here, Jamie. All right. So first thing we're looking at, five of swords, page of pentacles, 
and the three of pentacles okay so the first thing that i'm seeing here is that you have this need to be right and i can relate because i do too all right and i'm trying to work through that but i i don't back down when i'm right anymore but i can release the need to have it my way even if i know i'm right and somebody else isn't or maybe they're right in their way and i'm right in my way whatever but you have this need to be right and you will absolutely hang on to this need to be right no matter what um you're also struggling with your own self-identity okay you're trying to reinvent yourself at this point you're trying to find the the what works with you and reinvent yourself okay so in some ways you're pulling back because you are uh trying to figure out who you are and who you want to be but the other reason you're pulling back is because you don't like it when he's right and you're not or you don't like sharing the rightness okay which sometimes you can be right and he can be right but you have different perspectives you've got to be willing to let that go instead of you know fighting that battle all the time all right meanwhile where he's coming from uh he's definitely coming from a place of abundance he he sees the possibility of the world and he sees the possibility of your relationship okay and he wants it to go somewhere but he feels stuck he feels like he is waiting on you all right so he is in a holding pattern waiting game what's blocking you be from him is you being defensive okay you're being very defensive between these two things between trying to figure out who you well actually always got to be right trying to figure out who the fuck you are and how you want to go forward okay so how do you release this first of all you need to let go of the past you're the half the battles that you're fighting jamie with him are from your past okay It's kind of like, um, I don't know if you heard, you heard some of the um, radio show yesterday on Through the Veil when we were talking about complex PTSD. One of the things with complex PTSD, it can happen over time. We find people that uh, are maybe are not the ones who started the complex PTSD, but they actually reinforce it. And I happen to know, hey, Matt, um, I happen to know that you have in, uh, at least in the relationship before Derek that I helped you with and through, you were with a narcissistic and abusive person, okay? This narcissistic and abusive person helped to reinforce your complex PTSD from your younger years, Jamie, if we're going to be completely honest with this. And half of the arguments you're having with Derek, you're really having with your ex in your mind. Because if Derek says something that triggers your memories from that time and from times before where you felt this way, you go into that fight or flight or freeze, fight, flight or freeze mode, okay? And you're fighting that battle instead of the one that you should be fully present in, which probably shouldn't be a battle at all. If that makes some sense. All right. Uh, the other way you fix it, by the way, besides letting go of your past and realizing you're not fighting that fight anymore. That fight was done five years ago. Okay. You are, you need to be fully present in the moment. The second thing that you've got to do. Shadow work. Oh my God. She said it. Yep. You got to go inside and you got to look for those answers within. You've got to turn around and realize that, hey, I don't have to feel this way anymore. I don't have to live from this place anymore. You've got to be able to work through some of your complex PTSD. I think you should get a trauma therapist if you have one that will help you with this. Because I know whether you've been diagnosed with it or not, I know you've got it. I know I've known you long enough and well enough, Jamie, to know. Okay. The last thing that you need to do to fix this is start making different decisions. What is the definition of insanity? Can anybody give me the definition of insanity? I'll wait. What is the definition of insanity, folks?
Okay, so you've been diagnosed with it. That's that's good. So get yourself a counselor that, that specializes in that. That'll help you. But the definition of insanity, y'all, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. This is where, yes, Rochelle got it. This is where cognitive behavioral therapy, Jamie, really comes into play. That literally you have to turn around and make different choices you're going to have to catch yourself in the executive decision making point and stop and decide hey am i making the same choice and expecting a different result okay you gotta start making the different choices yes jessica faye becca y'all all got it yes so you're going to have to catch yourself with some cognitive behavioral therapy and start making different choices and realizing, is this the thing that you really want to, is this the fight you want to be fighting? You're, you're not fighting the fight that you were fighting five years ago. You're, you're with Derek now. You're with somebody who actually gives a shit now. So why are you treating him like your ex-narcissist? Because he's not. Okay. And that's going to be tough to recognize the difference. So, yeah. You did not know that. Well, it's it's a it's not necessarily the definition like Webster definition of insanity. It is just, you know, it's an old phrase of saying doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the different results is insane. If every time I push this button, it makes this noise, emotional damage. Then every time I hit this button, it's going to make this noise. Emotional damage. Okay. If I hit this button, it's going to make this noise. <laughs> All right. If I want this noise, <laughs> I don't need to be hitting this button. Emotional damage. Makes sense. So I need to make sure that I am cognitively choosing to hit this button instead. <laughs> because I want laughter in my life, right? or I need to hit the magic button. But doing the same thing over and over again is insanity and it's gonna cause emotional damage. Hmm, go figure, right? Alrighty, so hopefully that helps and blesses you. Let me do your money spell for the two of you. I'm going to move this over here. There we go. All right. So Jamie and Derek. Money, money unto thee. Abundant wealth. Three times three. With harm to none as it finds its way. May your wealth increase every day. With free will to war, or with free will to all and harm to none. As we will, it is now done. So mote it be. The shadow work isn't just a this week thing. It's sometimes things that can take months and sometimes even years to completely work through. But start getting started on it and really working through your shadow is a beautiful and wonderful thing. I agree. All right, Miss Granados. William, Misty, I am always doing free readings tonight. So if you guys would like to get on the free reading list or even the uh, priority reading list, you're more than welcome to. But here's how to get on the free list. Thank you for tuning in. I'm live every Monday from 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And from 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until we're done on Wednesday and Friday nights. I offer free readings on every live. To join the free list, simply like this video, subscribe or follow, share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading, and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, $35 for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones, or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity 
and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. Matt, I'm putting you on the free list. We're going to do a reading for Jess on what's going to happen over the next 90 days. All right, so I'm going to do 30. I'm going to do 30. 60. 90. Yes, the beer bucket. You want you want to check it bucket? I mean, if anybody's earned to check it if check it the fuck it bucket spell, then it's you. But yes, it is the beer bucket. Uh we'll do we'll do the spell for you too, Jess. So think about what you want to check in the fuck it bucket. Okay? All right. So, what I'm seeing is uh the hell of a story too, isn't it? 30 days. We have strength, the Hierophant, and the Nine of Wands. So over the next 30 days, it's going to be a lot of things shaking up, getting things organized, and learning how to set your defenses for, for what matters to you, for what you hold dear. Okay. Um, over that's 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 uh, you know, kind of setting up that perimeter. All right, getting things organized, setting up that defense, getting things set up organized and setting up your defenses following that i see setting up those defenses and the boundaries and 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 what ready to guard what's important to you following that or between the 30 to 60 day time period i've got heartbreak uh people arguing with you and people lying to you okay and this is all in regards to the heartbreak okay that there's going to be drama surrounding this heartbreak and lies surrounding this heartbreak, okay? In the 90, which is the 60 to 90, I have you end up with all the tools that you need to make your shit work. You start coming out on top and you find your zen, okay? So by the end, of the, the this phase looks like shit. Blech. I hate this part for you. But getting things organized, learning how to set your boundaries, putting your boundaries firmly in place, and what you're okay with, what you're not, learning how to stand your ground is gonna, is like, that's the crucial prerequisite over the next 30 days for this. So, yes, 30 to 60 days heartbreak and drama. Heartbreak, drama, lies. That's exactly what it is. Heartbreak, drama, lies. That's what these cards actually mean. This is the heartbreak card, the three of swords, the drama, five of wands. Everybody's got an opinion. Everybody wants to get in the middle of it. And then the lies, the seven of swords is the liar card. So heartbreak, drama, lies. Exactly. Then we have, we have, uh, well, actually, if, we're, if I'm going to use my key phrases for each of this, okay, we have facing into the problems, organizing your shit and getting a structure together and taking a break, taking a knee and saying, okay, I've got my shit together. I'm going to, I've, I've got my, my palisades up, my defenses up. I'm going to take a chill pill for a minute. Now here comes the heartbreak, drama lies. You've got all the tools that you have to do this. You will fucking conquer this and being calm in the storm, you know? Wow. Yeah, I know it does. Yes. I didn't say that just in case. Well, let me ask. I say Rick or the sister. Rick, not the sister. Yes, on Rick. Slow drama, though. That's the what I came up here for Rick, which is the Six of Swords, which is moving ahead slowly. So that drama is going to unfold kind of slowly. What I got for her is a no, no, she's not part of the problem. So hopefully that helps and blesses you there. All right, Jess. So what do you want to chuck in the fuck it bucket? All right, because we're going to you're going to get Jess was with me when I got this fuck it bucket. All right. This is my South Padre Island bucket. All right. And we were sitting out having a smoke. All right. And these people kept walking by with this damn bucket. 
and I liked the bucket. And I'm like, where are you guys getting the bucket? I asked this man and his wife and they were hanging out with some other people and they were walking by. I'm like, I have a question to ask. And they're like, yeah, sure, what's up? I'm like, where the hell are you guys getting this cool bucket? I want the bucket. And they said, well, there's a place right around over there, you know, around from our hotel. We're sitting on our hotel balcony, mind you, okay? And they said, there's a place over there. You buy, you know, buy for 11 bucks and they give you like five beers in it and the bucket and you get to keep it. I'm like, well, that's fucking cool. I don't like beer, but I'll have to go get me one. And I said, oh, no problem. We'll go get you one. And the husband's like, I'm going to go buy you one. I'm like, well, let me get you some money. And he's like, no, I'll, I'll buy it for you. I'm like, oh, that's sweet of you. You know, I don't drink beer, though. He's like, well, you know, whatever. You drink it, give it away. What? But you wanted a bucket. I'm going to go get you a bucket. So he left his wife there. So I'm like, well, as a thank you for the bucket, let me give you a reading. Yeah, the beer was nasty. <laughs> the beer was very nasty. Just tried one. I tried a sip of her beer. We didn't open any of the other four beers. They all got given away. I went and played Beer Fairy in the hotel. But um, basically, um, when they were gone, I started doing a reading for this for the woman, and I just blew her out of the water. It completely freaked her out. And while we're doing that, the husband walks back up with the bucket full of beer, this bucket here, and uh, and we start talking, and he starts asking me about a missing person. I start telling him details about this missing person. He's like, holy fuck. Wow. And, and it was just so much fun. Jess is just about ready to die. She is laughing her ass off at the way that this guy is just reacting over the... <laughs> yeah, I know. The wife's eyes almost popped out of her head. The dude's eyes almost popped out of his head. It was great. I love doing that. All right, so Jess, we're gonna put insecurities on here uh, and negative thoughts that you're not good enough. All right, so we have insecure negative thoughts. And Jess on the other side, all right? Yeah, you did tell him I was legit. Okay, I'm sorry it came on the thing. Why? I thought because nothing else came on the thing. I'm not sure what you're talking about there, Michael. Oh, no, 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 no. My bestie, my best friend is Jessica. So, she's one of my best friends. I have I have my friend Jessica. I have my friend Diane. I have my friend Otivia. I have my friend Elspeth. And I have my friend um, Ashley Hart. And they follow my bestie list. So when I'm saying bestie, I'm talking to one of them. All right. So here's your fuck it right here. All right, Jess. It's the flames dancing crackle so bright. We cast away shadows, racing light. Into the bucket, our troubles take flight, vanishing into the night and out of sight. With fire's pure embrace. We claim release from burdens heavy. We seek peace. As paper turns to ash, let worry cease. In the sacred space, may all negativity decrease. By this spell with intention clear and true, no longer serves Jessica, we bid adieu. Transformed by fire, our spirits renew. Guided by the universe, our path is new. With free will to all, and harm to none, as we will. It is now done, so mo it be. that feel to you miss jess i love it yes this is the bucket bucket spell y'all <laughs> thank you for tuning in i'm live every monday from 6 to 8 p.m eastern standard time and from 8 p.m eastern standard time until we're done on wednesday and friday nights i offer free readings on every live to join the free list simply like this video 
subscribe or follow, share this live stream, and then comment the word shared. Then just make sure you're here when it's your turn. For those who tip, you'll skip the free list, become a priority for your reading, and receive a complimentary money spell. Additionally, you can donate for specialty readings for $20, 35 hours for mediumship to connect with departed loved ones, or $30 for a channeled message from a divinity of your choice. You can also donate $13 for tonight's spell to be cast here on the show. All who send money for anything go on the priority list. Your support is truly valued by me and my family, helping me continue to share these moments with you. Thank you for your generosity, and may you receive abundant blessings as you have blessed me. I'm eating popcorn. And I know, I wish you could see yourself as I see her too. Popcorn. So I turn around and use a blend of olive oil and butter to make my own like movie theater butter. And I have decided that I like it better than I like the movie theater butter. She right, yes, you're on the list. We're just taking a minute to get through it. Miss Thompson, you're up next. Shira, you're up right after Stephanie. Mm -hmm. I actually didn't put any extra salt on it. I just had the salted butter mixed with olive oil. And then I pour that over it. It tastes better. I know. I have a hard time seeing myself the way you guys see me. Yes, ma'am, you. You're the one who Vimmoed, right? It said Stephanie, so I'm assuming that's you. You can eat popcorn, Jess. The whole trick is to spit out the kernels. Like that. Uh, getting there, Robin. Hmm. Did you let me know you shared, Robin? Because I'm not seeing you on it. Let's see. Well, I know you came in right about here, so I'm going to put you there. I'm putting you towards the middle of the list because I know when you came in, that's probably when you shared. All right, Stephanie Lewis Loose, are you on? Stephanie Lewis Loose. You're welcome. I love you too. You like the check it in the bucket bucket spell? That's a cool one, right? I've, I've been so looking forward to the waning moon so I could do the check it in the bucket bucket spell. It's just too much fun. Jess has learned it is an adventure to be around a neurodivergent, neuro spicy witch. I like how people have been calling it neuro spicy. Because, yeah, I'm spicy. Yeah. I can be the greatest or I can be the biggest asshole ever. When when I when I dig my teeth into a toxic person, oh, she'll tell you. Misty, you shared? I will put you on the free list. So you're on the free list. Excellent. Mr. Toxic on the boat. Oh boy, yeah. I would, I would, I was tenacious. I was like, I got my teeth in Toxic Castle. I actually called him, hey, Toxic Guy. And he turned around like, what? <laughs> he knows he's toxic, you know? All right, Miss Thompson. So, Sarah, uh, Shira, sorry, not Sarah, Shira, 
Kira, you're up next then. We love you too, Michael. And if she can't come on tonight, Stephanie, we can save your reading for a different night. He was a pompous ass, yes. I also dug my teeth into her brother a little bit, not gonna lie. Holy hell, she read a book. I am currently being treated for ringworm. My sympathies. I uh, had a spot on my back, looked like a bruise at first, had this since January, and it spread literally all over. Ugh, that's what it does. No one in the house has it. Was this a hex? I feel like someone's trying to stop my success and cause depression, etc. Where I want to help others and give readings, but no one has been into my offerings. I'm often solitary in my area, and however you want to word the reading, whatever pops up. I don't know why I'd be attacked and by whom. Is this able to be? If that is able to be seen by not or not? Well, that's an awful lot for for just a little small, a uh, little donation reading. Okay, good night, Jess. I love you. What movie? Girl, we definitely got to catch up tomorrow, okay? I'm going to be over at Diane's, but I'll be around. So you catch up with me when you're when you're ready to catch up, all right? Because I got to hear everything because we didn't get to catch up today. And yesterday you told me that there was shit going on. And I'm like, I need to hear about all the shit, okay? How am I supposed to live vicariously through you if I don't hear about all the shit? <laughs> All right, so we're going to go with, um, was this a hex? We're going to start off with a one card with that. What First of all, because that'll tell me how further we want to go through on this reading. Was this a hex? No. Okay. Was this, you're fine, Chira. Was this something that you uh, are, uh, is this karmic? I guess is what I want to know. Is this a karmic thing? No. Okay. Is this just a happenstance thing? It just kind of happened? No. All right, so we're going to just ask, why did you get ringworm? We're just going to ask with that. Because you have been... You have been not defending your energy, all right? You're, you're pulling on to yourself other people's energies. That explains everything, Shira. That explains everything on this. Okay. You're... The wolf talks about this often. That negative energy is like radiation. And what happens when we are irradiated? Okay. Did any of you guys see that, that, that miniseries about Chernobyl? And after Chernobyl, how horrible it was. And... People who died because they were exposed to that radiation leak and stuff like that. And they they were just in the area. They weren't they weren't in the blast zone. Okay. The, all these people in the town of Chernobyl, they they were in the area. They didn't they were up in the plant. The plant was a little further away. The town was a little further down the road. Okay. And um, they got the, the the radiation just spread. Well, Shira, what you've been doing is apparently in trying to help other people is you're just going up and saying, hey, I'll help you with your radiation. I'm going to help you by absorbing all of your radiation for my cell. Okay? Don't do that, Shira. Okay? You can't... First of all, you pulling everybody's radiation onto yourself isn't going to make them any less irradiated, okay? They are still going to have that negative energy. So now all you've done is push good energy, your own energy, which I'm seeing according to what the, the I'm being shown here. You're using your own energy, personal energy, rather than Reiki energy, okay, to push into people to try to help them. And you're trying to eat their problems but it's not taking their problems away from them. Instead, it's just it's just giving you the negative energy and them a little bit of a temporary feel good, but you're not actually helping them long term. Okay. Hello, Ruby. Remind me who you really are. Cause I don't remember who you really are until you tell me. And I, I one of these days I'll remember. 
but it's it's from everybody and you need to learn how to not do that she right you really should get in the mentorship circle and learn reiki and learn how to block and and ground and center uh, bianca okay thank you ruby but you really should get in this mentorship circle. I, I'm going to tell you, Shira, that you not being in this is is probably going to be detrimental to you because there are things you need to learn before you start going out and trying to heal because you're basically going out and, and playing doctor with no protection whatsoever. So you might want to think about joining this. Are you ready to deepen your spiritual journey? If so, let's take it to the next level together. I'm Lady Shia psychic, medium, doctor of divinity, and your witch coach with over 36 years of experience in witchcraft. I invite you to the mystical mentorship circle. This is the haven you've been searching for, especially if you're an empath or thirsting for a like-minded community. We learn everything from shadow work, Reiki, runes, tarot, astrology, and even life skills that matter. The best part? You get all of this for only 25 a month. You're not just learning, you're growing alongside a supportive community that understands you. Plus, you get special perks like free monthly readings, discounts on live events, master classes, and personalized mentoring from yours truly, The Witch Coach. Let your journey begin now. Visit LadyShia.com. Hey, Mark, how you doing? I'm glad to see you here. Uh, Chris Cole, Yolanda Espijo, and Cassandra Smith and Becky Walker. Which of you guys are here? Chris Cole, Yolanda, Cassandra, and Becky Walker. Let me know you guys are here. Stephanie, if you want me to hold it for her for a different night, I can. It's up to you. All right, Chris is here. Yolanda, Cassandra, and Becky. Which ones of you guys are here? Mark, can you come in, uh, come to the uh, uh, thing at the Genesee, uh, or at the uh, library that I sent you? Yolanda, Cassandra, and Becky, last call for you guys. Stephanie, okay. We'll do your full spirit insight, and then we'll move on into Chris Cole's reading and then start hitting up that free list. So you free listers, hang out. Love to see you there, Mark. We're going to have a great talk. It's going to be great. And for all of you guys who are on here, I will be... Uh, um, I will be broadcasting it. So I'm going to I'm going to put up an event tomorrow for all of this cuz I'm going to be broadcasting my live talk on the eclipse. All right, Stephanie, full spirit insight any particular topic that we want to get insight on or just a general dear And um, hey, anybody in the mentorship circle want to tell uh, Shira what they think that she should do about being in the mentorship circle or not? Hey, hey, circle members, do you think that Shira should uh, should be in the mentorship circle? General for you. Okay, you got it, girl. Gia, hey, I need to talk to you. I got some cool shit, I, I, an idea for you. I need to talk to you at some point. We didn't get to FaceTime the other day. I'll be around Sunday. She needs to join, John says. Chris says 100%. You guys get a lot of benefit out of the mentorship circle? Yeah. <laughs> Bianca's like, join the family. See, listen, everybody wants you, Shira. You're wanted. All right. So, oh, by the way, I forgot to do this. Hold on. Shira, for you. Money, money unto thee. Abundant wealth three times three. With harm to none as it finds its way. May your wealth increase every day. The free will to all, all and harm to none. As we will, it is now done. So mote it be. 
And for you, Stephanie, yes, it is a truly, truly no judgment zone. All right. Perfect. All right. Holler at me Sunday morning, Gia. All right. So, Stephanie, money, money unto thee, abundant wealth, three times three. With harm to none as it finds its way, may your wealth increase every day. With free will to all and harm to none, as we will, it is now done. So mode it be. I will be available tomorrow evening, most likely, but I'm going to be over at my friend's house, Diane and Otivia's most, or Diane's house with Diane and Otivia most of the day. Well, we're looking forward to having you, Shira, for sure. Hello, Queen of Random. How are you, Miss Annette? All right. So, Stephanie, what I'm seeing here for you. Um, we have the King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords, the Emperor, and Eight of Pentacles on the level of the scene. So, what I'm seeing here is that you are needing to go through your spring cleaning time. This is a time for you to get reorganized with yourself. And then once you do... To set up your boundaries, know what you have, know what you are, know your resources. Once you know what your resources and, and whatnot, set up your boundaries of what you're okay with and what you're not and make sure that you enforce those boundaries. Then you can start looking for creative ways forward, okay? So first, organize and clean. Second, set the boundaries. Third, look for your path forward. When you do it in this way, then what we have here is you gaining better control over your life and seeing long-term progress, long-term progress. Now here's the energetic side of what's going on. First of all, Stephanie, 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 how many times do we have to talk about this? How many times over how many years? Do we need to talk about this? If anybody's wondering, I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to sing a song. Okay? So that we know, yes, Annette, I do. No. No, it's the other thing we talk about. Okay? It's the song. Okay? Remember this card? Right there. This card has a song. This is the Nine of Swords. Are you ready for the song? If you're happy and you know it, overthink. If you're happy and you know it, overthink. If you're happy and you know it, then your brain will surely blow it. If you're happy and you know it, overthink. Hey, Randy. Annette, did you like, subscribe, and share? I'll stick you on the free list. I do have time. Anybody can jump in. There is no wait on the priority list. So tippers or skippers. All right. So yeah, Stephanie, quit overthinking this shit. Okay. You need to stop overthinking. All right. Now let's go back into the other thing. One, stop overthinking. Two, it is okay to take some time for you. It is okay for you to take some time for your fucking self. Okay? It's okay to do that. If you have whatever permission, Stephanie, that you need to have for self-care. Yeah, that's on there too. Whatever permission you are needing from the universe, whatever. The universe is not only giving you permission, but it's telling you, bitch, self-care. Fucking do it, okay? Because you are suffering way too much emotional damage. Not gonna lie, okay? Got too much emotional damage going on in there. So you need to take some new time. And then from there, you need to find a place where you can give, all right? You need to find a place where you can just give of yourself. Now, this may sound weird, because I know you give of yourself and your time and stuff like that on a regular basis in a work context. But I'm seeing that this is something on a kind of like on a doing good level. All right. Doing good and helping other people complete strangers. 
really helps you. Now I get that doing people's hair and stuff like that is a thing, but that's work. You need to have a personal giving place, like maybe go and uh, help with a community garden or a soup kitchen or something like that. And I know you're probably like, where the fuck am I going to find a time to do that? But I'm telling you, you do have the time to do it, okay? And that is actually a thing of self-care for you. Oddly enough, spending time on other people to help them is a self-care aspect for you because you start recharging when you're able to see the difference that you're making for other people. All right? So I know it's weird. It's like, hey, I don't have time to do anything. I'm running around like a chicken with my egg off. Hey, Stephanie, go out and volunteer somewhere. The fuck, Shia? The fuck you telling me I need to? I got more stuff I got to go do. The fuck you tell? No, I'm telling you. This is part of how you refuel, Stephanie. This is part of how you recharge. This is actually a self-care thing. Going and volunteering in a soup kitchen to where you can just be part of the, I'm out there putting soup in a cup and passing it out and seeing the smiles and the help and, and being there for people and whatever. That will help you recharge. Community gardening. That is a great recharge. You're doing something to help people in a community garden. Do it, okay? Give, find a way to give to complete strangers. All right, trust me, you'll start feeling way better from it. It's going to help reset your equilibrium. Stephanie, let's see what you, for your freebie, what you got to check it in the bucket bucket. Yeah, go to a senior center and do art with them. There you go. All right, Stephanie, it is okay for you. And, and this sounds like a weird thing because to outward appearances, this is not something you have an issue with. But to the truth, you have an issue with it. You have an issue of trying to conform to other people's expectations. You have an issue with trying, and you're like, but I'm unique, I stand out, I'm different. No, you, you do that, but you do that in a way that you can try to conform to others. Oh, I know, that bird that she did last year, the stained glass bird, uh, it was kind of a stained glass looking thing. That was so beautiful. She's an amazing artist. Yeah, doing artwork with seniors would be fantastic. And that would make you feel great. But it needs to be something for complete stranger stuff. All right. But for for you, you need to what you need to check in the bucket bucket is feeling like you need to conform to everybody else's expectations. Chuck that shit in the bucket bucket, okay? Chuck it in the bucket bucket. All right. Oh no. What's wrong with it? Did he say? Hummingbird. Yes. Wasn't that that was last year, wasn't it? Or was it before? I don't know. When it gets old, when it gets beyond a year, I start losing track. That was beautiful. All right. So, Chris Cole, mentorship day uh, for you. So, what did you want your reading on, dear? Meanwhile, final call for Yolanda, Cassandra, and Becky. Uh, let's see. Who else do we have here? Becca Crosby, Renee LaHoe. Uh, Elizabeth Brown and Robin Blackburn. Who all is here? Becca Crosby, Renee, Elizabeth, and Robin. Ah, yeah. You're going to have to get a healer coil probably to pull the spark plugs out if they broke off. Year before. Okay. Mm. all right chris wants to know is this move going to be good for me she's just moving down the street but to a new trailer all right robin you're here too becca's here robin's here renee laho and elizabeth brown are you guys here all right so let's see is this move going to be good for you oh yeah are you moving in with a roommate 
Okay, because I'm seeing it's, it's a really good move for you, Ed, but there's going to be some major adjustment issues. All right, if you can just powerhouse your way through the adjustment issues, it's going to be great. All right, the adjustment issues, though, I don't know what's going to go on with that, that there's going to be something that, that you're going to have to get down into the heart of something. There's going to be some adjustments with it. One, and it's going to be like processing your emotional kind of stuff with the adjustment issues. But once you powerhouse through those adjustment issues, you're going to be happy. It's going to be good. This is a good thing for you. Just understand the adjustment issues are going to be a thing for a bit. Yeah, it's smaller. Okay, that could very much be it then. All right, but if you can powerhouse through the adjustment issues, you will not only adjust, but you will be wildly happy and successful there. What you need to chuck in the bucket bucket is trying to be there for everybody else. All right, Chris? Trying to be there for everybody else. Because right now, the person you need to be there for is the one that looks back at you when you look in the mirror. Don't worry about being there for everybody else right now. Don't worry about trying to hold them up. Your strength is... It's okay for you to reserve your strength for you right now. Okay? I know where for what you're going through. It's okay for you to be there for you right now. Okay? So chuck that expectation in that bucket bucket. All right. Renee LaHoe and Elizabeth Brown. Are you guys here? Meanwhile, Michael Johnson, Chanel Kirch, Faye Orion, and Marta Felix. Any of you guys still here? Renee LaHoe and Elizabeth Brown, last call for you guys. Meanwhile, Becca. Michael's here. Excellent. Chanel Kirch, Faye Orion, and Marta Felix. Who's here? All right. Becca, what do you need to check in the fuck it, fuck it? Becca, you are so afraid to be real. Okay. You are so afraid to let people see the naked you. You're always going to put up that mask. You're really good at masking. You are really afraid of taking that mask down. Okay. You didn't miss it yet, Terry. We still got you on the list further down. Um, but you absolutely need to seriously let go of that fear of, of being vulnerable of people you have this fear of vulnerability allow yourself to be vulnerable allow yourself to be seen for who you truly are take the mask off for a little while because when you do you'll be able to process things through a lot better you're going to be able to work through some of the things that have been holding you back and maybe be able to stay clean and sober you know for a while that in a way that is less difficult for you less of a struggle you know what i mean all right, last call for Renee and Elizabeth. Meanwhile, Robin, let's see what goes in your fuck it bucket. All right, Robin. Constantly looking back to the past. Constantly trying to get... Uh, no, Rochelle, I think you're coming up soon. Um, when we start going through the list like this, it goes pretty quick, actually. So you're coming up pretty quick. Um... But what I'm seeing here is what you got to chuck in the bucket 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 is trying constantly trying to look back and reclaim your past. It is time for you to turn around and face towards the future. Chuck that bucket, chuck your past in the bucket bucket. Take the lessons with you, but all that extra baggage you're dragging around, chuck it in the bucket bucket. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. All right. All right, Michael Johnson is here. Uh, gonna check again, and Faye is here. Uh, so we're gonna ask again if Chanel Kirch and Marta Felix. Last call for you guys. Good night, Chris Cole. Sweet dreams. No problem, Annette. All right, so Michael, what you gotta check it in the bucket bucket. I see this, 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 this determination, okay? This, this one 
singular focus determination. Seeing the forest, for seeing the tree instead of the forest, okay? Going and focusing so much on something that you lose sight of everything else. Look, when you're turning around, you're focusing on something so much that it is right here in your face, you cannot see stuff. Like when you're doing that, okay, I can't see everything that this cup is now blocking. I can, if I turn around and get a little distance, I can still see the cup. Okay, I can still see my cup, all right? But I can also see you. When I do this, I can't see you. I'm only seeing my cup, okay? So, now I can see everything, including my cup. Now I can only see my cup. Now I can see everything, including my cup. You see the difference? Don't be so damn focused that you're you're including everything else that's going on around you because you're so focused on this thing that's right up and in your face. All right? By the way, Faye, you recognize that cup? Hee hee hee. No, you didn't miss your reading. You're, I see you a little bit down the list. Yes, five months sober. Yay. All right, Faye Arian, I've got you down for your mentorship uh, reading right now. Marta Felix, are you here? And I told Chanel I'd leave her on the list anyway. I know she generally popped back on and jumped off. I just try to say people's names in case because I want to make sure everybody gets the chance. So, all right, Faye, what would you like your mentorship reading on, please? Or would you like the spell for the bucket bucket tonight? Because you can have the spell, mentorship circle members. Ah, she has a question. Let's see what you need to check in the bucket bucket while you're waiting. Thank you, Annette. You're on the list. What you need to check in the bucket bucket is this feeling like you constantly have to... That you have to constantly be seeking after spirituality. The answer is sometimes it's okay to just let yourself go for a little bit and just rest. Spirituality should be something that brings you peace, not this feeling of... Mm. All right, so you need to get yourself back to that calmness point, okay? Get yourself back to that peace and calmness point. So what am I asking your guides why what? Finish your question. Meanwhile, let's see what I've got. I am going to turn my thame into a back scratcher. I've done this before. Okay. How many people take a ritual dagger and use it to scratch their backs with? This witch. This witch does. Oh. Oh, that feels good. What am I asking your guys why about? You're welcome, Michael. I hope that illustration helped you. Much better. I mean, I'm a holy temple. My ritual dagger can scratch my holy temple. All right, good night, Becca. Sweet dreams, dear. Oh, your my, yours is too sharp. See, my ritual dagger, I never sharpened to that point. I mean, it's the tip is very sharp. I could literally stab somebody with it, but the edges aren't so sharp as to like. It scrapes a few skin cells, but it's not sharp enough to, like, peel my skin off. Then again, neither is my functioning knife, because this is this is a little crappy knife that I use for my, like, cutting and digging things out and, and uh, like, wax and stuff like that. This one's not very sharp either. All right, so, Faye, just why? I'm constantly losing. It fucking sucks. All right, so we're going to see why. Why? Well, the first thing I'm seeing is that you never fully commit to a path. You're, you are focused on trying to balance out how everybody else sees and perceives 
rather than do the things that you need to do for you, okay? So you're like constantly like, okay, I'm gonna do this for everybody else instead of standing your ground for you, all right? And that's what I'm seeing really needs to happen for you is you really gotta learn to stand your ground. The other thing is you've gotta turn around and see where your, your positives are. You gotta turn around and focus on some of the positives to bring your energy up so that you are, you have a defense against the radiation that's happening across the board on other stuff. And yes, I had to itch my back again because the fucking itch came back. But the reason why isn't because your guys aren't trying to help you get to the good spot. It's because you feel like you've got to give your energy to everybody else and that everybody else is more important than you. Girl, the universe is going to keep this up until you fucking focus on you. All right? You have got to focus on yourself. And that sucks, but you do. You really fucking do. All right? So, yes, it's the same thing that your fuck it bucket was showing up. You, you know what? If they, if they love you and they care about you, then they're going to stand up and do what's necessary for you and for your health. Okay? Does that answer your question? And if that doesn't, then I want you to set a time to call me tomorrow or the next day where you and I can talk a little bit more. Okay? Because I understand what that message is about. And I think you do too. But if you don't, then you know what? Let's just sit down and have a chat about it. Okay? Yeah, lotion helps the scratch, except sometimes it doesn't. And I can't exactly stop, rip my shirt off, and put lotion on right now. Well, some of you guys might enjoy me ripping my shirt off. I don't know. But Facebook would certainly have an issue with it. YouTube might. You know? Then turn around and stop doing things for everybody else. Your energy is only for you and your health and what you have to do right now. Let everybody else start to step up and do shit for you. Okay? All right, Deborah Parkinson, Christine Matthew, I will for and Rochelle Wallaby. Who's here? Deborah Parkinson, Kristen Matthew, I will for and Rochelle Wallaby. Yeah, you laugh. I I am telling you, Facebook would not find me ripping my shirt off a laughing a laughing matter. They'd be like, nudity. You're going against community standards. Fuck you. Goodbye. All right, Rochelle's here, Kristen's here. What about Ibo Fur and Deborah? Ibo, Ibo Fur and Deborah Parkinson, are you guys here? You're welcome, Michael. I'm glad to be able to provide some help. I know you're really struggling after the death of your fiance. My heart breaks for you. All right, so Rochelle's here. And Kristen's here. Deborah Parkinson and Ivo Fur. Last call for you guys. Meanwhile, Kristen. You have got to release control, Kristen. You have got to let go of trying to control everything because you're trying to control everything. You think you're keeping yourself from problems, but you're blocking yourself from solutions. Okay, you're the first. You, oh, that's so sweet, Michael. I'm glad you laughed and smiled. All it took was me threatening to rip my shirt off. Typical guy. Good night, Faye. Seriously, call me tomorrow. I'll be over at Diane and Diane's house for part of the day, but I'll be around. So call me tomorrow. Okay. I know it takes a while to actually laugh again, Michael. It really does. And I mean, Chris Cole, she's been through it. So, yeah. But Kristen, trying to control everything, it can be a bit of a trauma response. Not going to lie. 
needing to control everything is something that we do to try to maintain some kind of semblance of control of our life because our complex PTSD or what have you got to the point to where, yeah, we, we were not in control and we were constantly having our control taken from us. All right, so you're trying to control is a trauma response, but it is one that you need to let go because that, that control is actually taking more control away from your life than it helping. It's hurting more than helping. Does that make some sense, Kristen? All right, so Rochelle, let's see what we got for you. What do you need to chuck in the... So chuck that shit in the fuck it bucket. What do you need to chuck in the fuck it bucket? 2,000%, Kristen. All right. So Rochelle, there's no time like the present, okay? That attitude needs to be chucked in the fuck it bucket. This YOLO, no time like now, justification. All right, that you have been doing to justify some of your negative behaviors. Your guides just ratted you the fuck out. Not gonna lie, Rochelle. Your guides just ratted you the fuck out. And they're like, they're like, oh yeah, she has this way of like, well, YOLO, you only live once. Uh, you know, I'm only gonna do that once, whatever. Uh, you know, I've I'm I'm just gonna justify whatever I want to do with the fact of YOLO, no time like the present, just got to do it, right? Got to follow my gut. And you're doing these as justification things. There are times for that. There are times to be fully in the present, times to fully embrace the now, Rochelle. But this whole using it as a justification for something that you know is not for your benefit, quit it. You know better. You're smarter. Chuck it in the fuck it bucket, okay? All right, and our final grouping here, Terry Woodward, Meh, William, Missy Williams, Ruby Luna, and Annette Grimstein, who's here? Annette's here. Terry was here a minute ago. We'll see if she's still here. Meh, Misty, and Bianca. Meh is here, excellent. Misty is here. Excellent. Bianca is here. Excellent. Terry is here. Wow, this is the first group that everybody in the group has been in here. Ah, so happy. <clears throat> All right, so Terry, let's see what belongs in your bucket bucket. Uh, yeah, Rochelle, your guys say you know. All right, Terry, for you. Trying to do everything your damn self, not asking for help, not allowing other people for help. Again, this is another thing that can be very much a trauma response. Terry, you need to learn to fucking ask for fucking help, okay? Do you fucking hear me? Emotional damage. That's what you get when you try to do everything yourself. Okay. So, yeah. Chuck that shit in the fuck it bucket. Meh, let's see what belongs in your fuck it bucket. Meh, this fear of success. What the fuck? Meh, why are you really afraid, that afraid of, of taking a risk and actually being successful? May, you need to turn around and resign yourself that, you know what, you put in your time, you put in your effort, you have every right to expect to be successful and to get out there and make things work for you. You're afraid of success. You're afraid of failure. You're just stuck. You're in freeze mode. Stop. Chuck that shit in the fucking bucket, okay? Take a leap of faith. Don't be afraid of success. Don't be afraid of failure. Everything is just experience. Success, failure, that just means, okay, I'm done with this now that I've succeeded. Failure, okay, I'm going to find a different way to go about it until I succeed or let it go because this is not my thing. They're just experiences. Success, failure, it's all an experience. 
And every time you get experience, well, experience makes you smarter today than you were yesterday. So chuck that fear in the bucket bucket, okay? You're afraid, of, you're just as afraid of success as you are failure, meh. Be honest. Be honest about that. Okay, you're welcome, Michael. Sweet dreams and bon appetit. Not in that order. Reverse that. Bon appetit first, then sweet dreams. Okay? But stop being so afraid. Annette, you know, Annette, I think you're hearing a lot of other messages that are resonating with you tonight. You're welcome. Chuck that shit in the fucking bucket. The guides have ratted your ass out too. Misty, let's see what belongs in your fucking bucket. Misty. What belongs in your fuck it bucket is your negative self-perception, okay? You can be whoever you choose to be. And you can choose to see yourself a lot differently than you do, okay? You need to chuck your negative self-image in the fuck it bucket. Whether you're wearing a mask or whether you've taken the mask off and allowing yourself to be seen, you are awesome. You're you're valuable. You're wanted. You're, you're exactly... Who, where, what, why, when, and how you need to be. And as I said, everything, everything, Misty, is an experience. Um, getting a specialty reading, you donate using the pinned comment down below. That will have to be on Monday, though, because I am about to close. We only have a couple more people left, and then I'm going to say night-night and get some rest, because I'm tired. I've been up too early. Didn't sleep too well last night, because the wolf was tossing and turning. He didn't sleep too well last night, either. He got up at 6.30, and I could hear him coming and going once in a while. So, eh, 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 eh. so I would like to sleep. <laughs> right? No kidding, Annette. You get to an age where everything resonates in one way or another. But Misty, you are amazing. You, you need to check your negative self-image and the feeling like you can't be your true self. You need to check that limiting belief. Yes, Terry, you certainly may. Uh, but you you need to check that limiting belief in the fuck it bucket. Okay, check it in the fuck it bucket. Fuck, 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 fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Fuck. All right, so Bianca, what did you want your mentorship Monday on? Did you want the spell or did you want a reading? Meanwhile... What you got to chuck it in the bucket bucket is that feeling that that you should just quit. That you should just give up. That exhaustion. That feeling like, fuck it, I'm so tired. I just want to quit. I just want to say enough. I want to give up. I'm done. Chuck that shit in the bucket bucket. You push through. You push through and you do. Okay? You push through and you do. Luna, uh, Bianca, you get to the, you you get to you get to choose either a reading or a spell. You can ask a question for a reading, or you can get your spell. Or you get the uh, check it in the bucket bucket spell this week. Yay, Misty! Check it in the bucket bucket. All right, so yeah, your question just registered in my brain. No problem. I get that auditory processing. So we're going to sing while she's figuring out what she wants to do. We're going to sing the fuck it song, okay? Ready? All right. Here's the fuck it song. Fuck that shit. I'm not playing. Fuck that shit. I be slaying. Fuck that shit. I make my move. Fuck that shit. I'm in the groove. Fuck that shit. I'm in the flow. Fuck that shit. I, s I let it go. Fuck that shit. I said no. Fuck that shit. It's got to go. Chuck it in the fuck it bucket. Get in the fuck it bucket. Fuck that shit. Got to go. Fuck that shit. I said no. So there you go. There's a fuck that shit song. I need to write some more lines to that. So what, what did you want to do for your mentorship?
The dream I had with my friend who in my dream fell off a building. What was the message there? I startled her when I told her. Okay. Let's see what your dream meaning is. It's metaphorical. She's holding stuff inside and it's actually really hurting her on an emotional level. You need to learn what's bothering her and sit down and have an emotional chat as to what is on her. What you saw was an internal version of an external, of, of, a, a, a external version of an internal struggle, you know? So what you're seeing from her in that dream and her falling off and, and, and falling off the side and what have you uh, is all about, uh, oh, duh. okay, hold on. I just got a request from my step fun, so there we go. I made him an image earlier. But the dream meaning is that she is, she's, the, she's over the edge. She's over the edge with what's going on with her on an emotional level. And so you need to sit down, have a little girl chat. You see the two girls there sitting there talking and talking about their emotional stuff. And this is a learning card. So she's holding a lot of stuff in. You need to learn what that is and sit down and have that emotional talk with her. That's what it's about. Hopefully that helps and blesses you. You know, cheesecakes are your specialty. Yes, you, uh, did you make bigger than a seven pounder? You've been so up and down, off and down. You actually had to throw cheese, three cheesecakes away. Holy crap. What's going on, girl? Excuse me. You too, Bianca. You too. Any particular reason why? Feeling depressed, overwhelmed, particularly any particular thought process to that that you want to share? You want to talk about it enough for another time? We can message me, message me and let's talk about it. Okay. All right. So who is next? Let me pull up my free list here. We had, ah, we did Bianca. So you're next, Annette. And also anybody who likes, subscribed, and shared uh, that didn't get their free reading, say so now. Say the word shared right now. So Annette, for you, you need to release your fears. You need to throw your fears away. You're, 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 you're jumping at shadows and you need to let those shadows go, okay? You need to let your fears go. Seems like everyone you know are, is always fighting. So you're picking up that energy. Message me everything that's going on with you, girl. Uh, Misty says, any particular problems and stuff like that, I ignore. I, I ignore them. I don't dwell on that. I don't think twice if you know 
Of them, like, for instance, I had a dream that I had a hole in my bedroom floor and we had a basement. My grandson fell through that hole and he landed on the basement and died. I had dreams before. I just know him. I don't think twice. Some of them, I had a dream and everything that had a big hole. Okay. I, I read that part already, but I'm getting confused between these. Okay. You just sent the same message twice. Gotcha. All right. Girl, message me and we'll talk. Okay. Give me the whole story. Talk to me about what's going on. Meanwhile, uh, let's let's do some more let's do some more fuck this shit verses, okay? Uh, let's see what we got. Hmm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have our, we're gonna sing our fuck that shit song. All right, you ready? All right, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you absolutely one hundred percent ready? Because we got it, we got the, we're going to sing the whole fuck this shit song, okay? Because we're going to chuck shit in the fuck it bucket. And meanwhile, anybody else who has not gotten their free reading, tell me that you shared and I will do your reading, okay? Here's our song. Fuck that shit. I'm not playing. Fuck that shit. I'd be slaying. Fuck that shit. I'll make my move. Fuck that shit. I'm in the group. Fuck that shit. I'm in the flow. Fuck that shit. I've let it go. Fuck that shit. I said no. Fuck that shit. It's got to go. Fuck that shit. I'm breaking free. Fuck that shit. True to me. Fuck that shit. I'm on the rise. Fuck that shit. I cut the ties. Fuck that shit. I'm on my path. Fuck this shit. I found my wrath. Fuck this shit. I'm lighting fires. Fuck that shit. Fueling my desires. Fuck that shit. I'm taking names. Fuck that shit. In life's games. Fuck that shit. I'm setting pace. Fuck that shit. I'm winning my race. Fuck that shit. I'm speaking loud. Fuck that shit. I'm standing proud. Fuck that shit. I've made my claim. Fuck that shit. I'm not the same. Fuck that shit. No looking back. Fuck that shit. I'm on attack. Fuck that shit. I've raised the stakes. Fuck that shit. Doing what it takes. Fuck that shit. I've seized my fate. Fuck that shit. It's never too late. Fuck that shit, I've opened doors. Fuck that shit, I'm soaring, I'm yours. Fuck that shit, I found my voice. Fuck that shit, I've made my choice. Fuck that shit, the old me's gone. Fuck that shit, I'm moving on. There we go, guys. You heard the whole fuck that shit song. I really should write some more verses for that. So yes, hopefully guys, that helped and blessed you tonight and you've had a little bit of fun. We've all fucked this shit and fuck that shit and fuck all the other shit because you know what? This shit's the shit. All right. Good night, you guys. Marry me. Marry part until we marry me again. I will. Whoops. No, wrong one. Where's the close? There it is. I will see you guys on the flip side. Meanwhile, check out the mentorship circle. Are you ready to deepen your spiritual journey? If so, let's take it to the next level together. I'm Lady Shia, psychic, medium, doctor of divinity, and your witch coach with over 36 years of experience in witchcraft. I invite you to the mystical mentorship circle. This is the haven you've been searching for, especially if you're an empath or thirsting for a like-minded community. We learn everything from shadow work, Reiki, runes, tarot, astrology, and even life skills that matter. The best part, you get all of this for only 25 a month. You're not just learning, you're growing alongside a supportive community that understands you. Things, discounts on live events, master classes, and personalized mentoring from yours truly, The Witch Coach. Let your journey begin now. Visit ladyshia.com. Are you ready to get a tarot reading, but find yourself bewildered by all the choices available on the screen? Let's make your decision easier. If love is on your mind, our love and relationship reading, priced at $20, can shine a light on your path. Whether you're single, interested in someone, or already in a relationship, curious about a deeper insight into your life, the Full Spirit Insight Reading provides an in-depth look into a chosen topic 
or offers a comprehensive general reading for just $20. Explore the realms of your soul with the Akashic Records reading or uncover your life's true purpose with the Life Purpose reading, each available for $20. Navigate through your financial journey with clarity from our finances reading or connect with your animal guides through the animal spirit reading, also $20 each. Dive deep into your psyche with the subconscious insight, reading for $20, discovering the messages your subconscious self is sending and their significance. Reveal your hidden spiritual gifts with that reading or listen closely to the messages from your spirit guides with the spirit guide messages reading each priced at $20. Experience transformation and healing with a live Reiki chakra cleansing session for $20, where the collective energy benefits all viewers. Mediumship, available for only $35, allows for a connection with loved ones who have crossed over more than 30 days ago, bringing messages of love and closure. For direct messages from the divine, opt for the channeled divine message service for $30, offering profound insights and guidance. Remember, a free reading requires no monetary exchange. It's witch's choice, and recipients are not allowed to ask questions. Instead, you'll receive the reading topic I've selected for the evening. To qualify, like this video, follow this channel, share this live stream, and comment shared. Curious about tonight's spell? Discover what magic we're weaving and have it cast for you live for only $13. Questions on which reading to choose or about tonight's spell? Feel free to ask. And if you're part of the Mystical Mentorship Circle, remember, your weekly three-card reading is waiting. Just reach out. Embark on this magical journey with me, uncovering the mysteries and insights that await.